When you think of fighter jets and naval aviation, the F-14 Tomcat might be one of the first aircraft that comes to mind. But did you know that there was an even more advanced variant proposed known as the Super Tomcat 21? In the late 1980s and early 1990s, the Navy explored ways to enhance the capabilities of their already impressive fleet of F-14 Tomcats. This led to the concept of the Super Tomcat 21, a jet that promised to push the boundaries of speed, agility, and firepower. Although the Super Tomcat 21 never made it past the proposal stages, its innovative design and ambitious goals left a lasting impact on naval aviation. This is the story of the F-14 Tomcat and the ambitious plans for its successor known as the Super Tomcat 21. The F-14 emerged as the U.S. Navy sought a new air supremacy fighter following the cancellation of the F-111B. With its variable sweep wings, twin Pratt & Whitney TF-30 engines, which were later upgraded, and advanced avionics, the F-14 was designed for both high-speed intercepts and close-in dogfighting. The aircraft had a tandem C configuration for a pilot and radar intercept officer, or RIO, who managed the complex AN-AWG-9 radar system that enabled it to track 24 targets and engage six simultaneously with its new AIM-54 Phoenix missiles before even getting within visual range. First flown on December 21st, 1970, and entering service in 1974, the F-14 quickly overcame early challenges and proved itself to be a state-of-the-art naval fighter. One key aspect of its design was the variable sweep wing, which allowed the Tomcat to adjust its wing configuration for optimal performance at various speeds and in different combat scenarios. This feature gave the F-14 a distinct advantage in both speed and maneuverability, making it a formidable opponent in air-to-air -air combat. The AN-AWG-9 radar system operated by the Rio was another critical component. This radar could track targets at long ranges, providing the pilot with essential situational awareness and the capability to engage threats with precision. During the Cold War, the F-14 played a crucial role in the U.S. Navy's strategy to counter Soviet bombers and reconnaissance aircraft. Its ability to detect and engage enemy aircraft at long ranges made it an essential asset for carrier battle groups. One notable moment involving the F-14 was during the Gulf of Sidra incident in 1981, where two F-14s from VF-41 Black Aces shot down two Libyan Su-22 fitters. This encounter showcased the Tomcat's superior dogfighting capability and underscored its importance in maintaining air superiority. The Persian Gulf War of 1991 further highlighted the F-14's versatility. The aircraft performed a variety of missions including combat air patrol, strike escort, and reconnaissance. Equipped with the tactical airborne reconnaissance pod, the F-14 provided critical intelligence and situational awareness to coalition forces. Its long-range radar and advanced weapon systems were instrumental in ensuring air superiority and protecting allied aircraft. The F-14's role in the Persian Gulf War demonstrated its capability to adapt to different combat scenarios and its effectiveness in modern warfare. In the early 1990s, the F-14D Super Tomcat, not the Super Tomcat 21, was introduced, featuring enhanced avionics, radar, and more powerful engines. The AN-APG-71 radar system provided improved target detection and tracking capabilities, while the General Electric F-110 engines offered greater thrust and fuel efficiency. These upgrades allowed the F-14D to conduct precision strikes with laser-guided bombs, further expanding its mission profile. Super Tomcat's advanced avionics suite also improved situational awareness and reduced pilot workload, making it a more effective combat platform. As the F-14 continued to excel in its roles, the US Navy launched the Super Tomcat 21, ST-21 program to extend the aircraft's range, enhance its avionics, and improve its overall performance. The ST-21 program aimed to address emerging threats and operational requirements, ensuring the F-14 remained a cutting-edge fighter. The program proposed several key upgrades, including more powerful engines, conformal fuel tanks, an advanced radar system, and expanded weapon loadouts. These enhancements were designed to maintain the F-14's superiority in air-to-air -air combat and increase its effectiveness in deep strike missions. The Super Tomcat 21 program also called for an advanced electronic warfare system to enhance the aircraft's survivability against enemy radar and missile threats. This system was to be complemented by a new, more sophisticated avionics suite that would improve overall situational awareness and reduce pilot workload. The proposed glass cockpit featured digital displays and advanced pilot interfaces, which was intended to be a game changer, providing pilots with a more intuitive and information-rich environment from which to conduct their missions. The Super Tomcat 21 program also aimed to expand the F-14's weapons loadout. 
enabling it to carry a wider variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. This included the integration of advanced precision guided munitions and the AIM-120 AMRAM, which would have significantly enhanced the Tomcat's lethality and versatility in combat. These upgrades were designed to make the F-14 not just a superior air-to-air -air fighter, but also a formidable platform for deep, deep strike missions. The envisioned enhancements under the Super Tomcat 21 program were set to position the F-14 as a multi-role aircraft capable of performing a broader range of missions with greater effectiveness. However, the ambitious vision of the Super Tomcat 21 program faced significant challenges. By the mid-1990s, shifting military priorities and budget constraints began to take their toll. The end of the Cold War brought about a reevaluation of military needs and expenditures, leading to the prioritization of newer, more cost-effective platforms over the modernization of the existing ones. The FA-18EF Super Hornet, with its lower operating costs, ease of maintenance, and multi-role capabilities, emerged as a more attractive option for the U.S. Navy. The Super Hornet's design was also better aligned with the Navy's strategic vision of a more flexible and compact air wing, capable of meeting a wide range of operational requirements. Despite the cancellation of the Super Tomcat 21 program, the innovations and technological advancements envisioned for the F-14 had a lasting impact. The development, efforts, and lessons learned from the Super Tomcat 21 program contributed significantly to the evolution of modern fighter aircraft. The emphasis on advanced avionics, improved engine performance, and expanded mission capabilities influenced the design and development of subsequent aircraft like the F-A-18 EF Super Hornet and the F-35 Lightning. These modern fighters embody the same principles of versatility, technological superiority, and multi-role functionality that were central to the Super Tomcat 21 program.